the finale of divisional round weekend, Matt, as the Buffalo Bills for the third time in four years playing against the Kansas City Chiefs, but for the first time playing this game at home, the Bills beating the Pittsburgh Steelers on Monday, so they will be at a rest disadvantage taking on the Chiefs who beat the Dolphins on Saturday. Bills a two-and-a-half-point favorite total at DraftKings of 46-and-a-half. Both teams won. Both teams covered wild card weekend, Matt Brown. The total was something that initially caught your eye. Yeah, I did get a piece of 46, and when the 46-and-a-half came back, I took a little bit more of the 46-and-a-half. And whenever we look at whenever we look at what's going on with this Chiefs defense – it's not bad. I, I do want to keep emphasizing this. It's not bad. But we were talking like putting up historic numbers at the, beginning of, at the beginning of the season. We were talking like number one in every single defensive metric that there was. And we were saying that they were on pace should they keep this up over the course of a season to be, go down as one of the best defenses of all time. Well, that didn't play out. Right. And then over the second half of the season, they fell down to, and again, not bad, but in that 14, 15, 16, 17-ish range in the various statistical categories out there. That's league average. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But now you have a different animal coming to town in, in Josh Allen in this offense. And I think whenever you look that there's a little bit of vulnerability to this defense, I think they'll be able to move and sustain some drives, run the clock. They are much more run-heavy team now than they were at the beginning of the year when, since Brady took over. And while those might not always equal touchdowns, I think what, what leans me towards an under is you, you want a, a run team that's able to move the ball, put together sustained drives. And then if you kind of, one thing that the Chiefs have been able to do is clamp down in the red zone. And so they have not allowed a ton of touchdowns over that span. They've just allowed people to move up and down the field a little bit more. And so with that, I think it, it, it plays towards an under. And not only that, just the fact that the inefficiencies on the Chiefs offensive side I understand this past week, Rasheed Rice came out of nowhere and had eight catches for you know 130 yards and a touchdown, but we'll see if that, we'll see if that's sustained. Right, right. We'll see if that's repeatable. I doubt it um, when it all comes down to it. So I'm I have a pretty good lean towards the under in this thing, and I honestly think that the Bills are going to be able to put up a very very big fight in this game against this Chiefs team. As as we recall, December 10th, Kansas City, Buffalo at Arrowhead, 20 to 17. Finale, Kadarius Toney lined up, offsides, negated the touchdown with the magical lateral. That game closed, if you're wondering, Kansas City minus two at DraftKings. And, uh, of course, the Buffalo Bills are here at two and a half point favorite. Go to vsun.com slash subscribe to become a VEASAN Pro subscriber today.